I'd love to start off by asking you, Philippe, about the genesis of the film and the journey of getting it made, and also how you found these two wonderful actors to be in it. Hmm. Um, the, genesis of, the, the genesis of the film is, um, it starts with um, two brothers in a party, uh, me and my brother, uh, where we were actually very bored. And I started to ask him question about uh, a memory that uh, was kind of uh, abstract in my in my in my head, and but I but I was very young and I recall that when he was uh, because he's my big brother, and uh, he's also a filmmaker, uh, documentarist. So we uh, we divide uh, you know the the world in two. I had this uh, memory that he uh, spent when he was uh, around uh, a bit younger than Jeff. Uh, he he spent uh, he was invited to this. Uh, to the lodge of uh, uh, the cabin in the woods, or the hunting hunt, or whatever, uh, of a, a, a famous Canadian filmmaker. And uh, he spent there a couple of days, like Jeff. And, um, and of, course, I, of course, I'm not going to name the director, because then I, oh. my imagination, <laughs> my, my imagination uh, built something completely different out of Blake. But uh, that was a starting point. Um, and then I went home that, uh, the, and, and then I told my brother actually during that, that, that party, I said, my, I said, Jean-Francois, I think I'm having, um, my next film. And, uh, and then, um, these two guys, it's a different story. Um, it's, uh, it's the story of me trying to cast the, uh, the, the people in that film, um, a year before I actually started to shoot the film, and uh, I, 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 for different reason, I, I wasn't sure of my casting, so I casted two other people for, uh, for, for, uh, for the part, and uh, <laughs> I, I, I wasn't completely convinced. And then the, the shooting dates were coming ahead, and I was uh, really have the feeling that we were heading towards a big catastrophe, not because of the casting, because they are very good actors. Okay. But but we but I felt I, I, I we were we were not ready, especially to shoot like uh, you know the canoe scenes. I mean, basically, people would have died if we would have shot you know at, at that moment. So I waited a year uh, to um, before we before we shoot the film. Also, there was also still like some COVID uh, restrictions, you know, when I was supposed to shoot the first time. So it was just, uh, I, I really had a feeling that there was something like that was a, a kind of, uh, it, you know, like uh, invisible uh, spirit that was pulling me out of the, and saying, don't shoot now, don't shoot now. And uh, so then I had a year to recast, and to, not to recast, but to think about the film, and then, and then I, I changed completely the, 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 deck of, uh, the, the deck of cards. I changed completely, you know, um, and uh, yes, so then I recast it, and uh, and uh, and 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 then uh, I I knew that because you, because actually didn't get the, the part the first time Noah, yeah, and um, and, and 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 Paul was like uh, very like uh, you know sending me text and uh, calling me and really. It was really like. Um, well, you, first you sent me the, the script saying that you wanted me to play it. Yeah, I know, but uh, 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 no, I, I think I, I don't think I said that. Oh yeah. <laughs> but we know uh, we have the right to think and to make mistakes and to you know have. That's a, you know, but but mistake. But, That's the key <laughs> word. <laughs> but but then it turned out to be uh, you know the, the, a very good decision to have these uh, fantastic, phenomenal. Uh, creative and beautiful actors in the film because I now I'm 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 so happy about it. There's one thing I'm happy about the film, um, beside the fact that it's a very well directed film. It's my it's it's my actors. <laughs> of course, I'm joking. Very uh, I'm very humble. <laughs> yeah, well, I wasn't casted uh, at first. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was no, it's, tr it's a true story. Um, I we went in and then we kind of, uh, like you said, it didn't go through, and we had a second round of auditions, and then that was it. Then I was I was casted, but um, well, well I mean, yeah, 
Yeah. You can <laughs> confirm. <laughs> so, but I'm very film. happy to be part of this film. And like, yeah, like Philippe said, I mean, working with this guy in Ahi, who plays Blake. Mm -hmm. Wow. Like a masterclass of like being able to watch these guys act in, the, in those dinner scenes mm -hmm. was insanely inspirational for me. Um, yeah. Thank you. It was very, it was um, a very nice experience to shoot those scenes because, like you saw, they were. Um, uh, one, one shot. Uh, How do you say? Yeah, it's just yeah. one shot. Right. Yeah. Long shot. Yeah. Long shot. They have Long a shot. very boring name in English for that. We have this beautiful word in French. Plan séquence. Plan séquence. So it's in here. It's like one shot. <laughs> And uh, we did them, you know, it, there was a lot of improv in, 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 those, uh, in those three suppers. Uh, of course, we, there, there was the script, but we would go out of text and come back to it and add some stuff and, and, uh, and things like that. Uh, so the, the scene that would be, let's say, 12 minutes would become 14, 16, 17. And we did them like, 33 times it was insane and it was so it, it, little by little we would really get like in a trance almost and we would really be there and it was an extraordinary artistic experience to be able to take our time first and second to be able to go deeper and deeper into the subtleties of the intentions and the scene and try it differently and stuff like that and finally he he took like the second take or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, it, it, it was an extraordinary uh, artistic adventure for a lot of reasons. But uh, for, for those street developers and the, the, the rock lobster scene, that was, it was, it was a moment in the, in the shooting where we're all very tired and there was like tension being, building, cabin fear, it was kind of a, you know, it, it was really happening for us almost in the, in, on the set. And um, it was such a relief. We danced for real and we went crazy and stuff. <laughs> and, it was a, and it was a beautiful uh, experience. Yeah, that's a perfect segue. So Noah and Paul, there's so much at play internally and under the surface with your characters, but also externally with the tension and the arguments. How did you tap, how did you each tap into your characters and what is your process for staying in these disparate headspaces while shooting? Oh my God. You know, to stay there, it's, you know, the text and the situation brings us back every time it says action, you know? So to stay there was, uh, was not really a problem. And uh, we discussed a lot about the, 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 the psychology of the characters, me, Arié, Philippe. So it, um, and the subtlety, you know, they appear while doing them. If you're really free while doing stuff, uh, a scene, let's say. Some intentions, some emotion, appear while doing it and you were not ready for them. You did not plan them. And suddenly things you you didn't even yet understood about the character arise by itself. That's the beauty of it. I think, I think it's uh, actually it's uh, the, um, the disappearance or of intentions which I'm, uh, which I'm really looking for uh, when I work with you guys. It's like I there's nothing worse than an actor who has an intention, and and, and it's, it's no intention because you say it's like it's you do tough. something and then it's then you, you it's like you forget that your you know your intention actually whoa, whoa, whoa. because because I'm uh, I'm uh, allergic to when I when I when I see actors that have that seem to have like a certain kind of intention intention too much intention pressure. yeah yeah I mean yeah and the fact that we were. Um, you know, we were in very remote locations for three months, nonstop together. Um, you know, no phones, no reception. That really put you into it. You had no choice to be in character, you know? It's like there's nothing else happening. Mm -hmm. So that definitely helped, for sure. And like Paul said, just getting into that beat and that flow of, of these takes after takes after takes, and, and there's just something, there's something you 
it's like you forget that you're acting pretty much you know you're just you're just there and 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 it kind of like takes the pressure off because you've done it so many times that it's just like it's just it just becomes very natural and that's a process that we're pretty pretty lucky to have because you don't it's not every director that first of all it's not on every set that you have the time to do these these you know these these many takes and and and, and uh, I'm happy that uh, Philip uh, made it a priority for sure yeah and you mentioned the remote location the setting is such an important aspect of the film um, and the isolated wilderness what were the the difficulties of getting to that remote area and I'd love to hear more about how you found this location Philip and any challenges that arose while shooting there um, it was just a, lot, a long process as well as casting, uh, the location scouting. I did scouting for a year also, like a little bit more than a year. So, um, and all you see in the film is different parts of uh, Quebec uh, province, uh, state. So I took a river there and then it took uh, 10 hours from a, a distance from another location. And so we were shooting in one uh, beautiful region of Quebec called Charlevoix. We started there. Uh, like the landscape of the mountains and the, the, the final scene, the, the, the confrontation with Blake and, and Jeff at the end. And then we went to, a, I, I discovered this fantastic river where it's a, supposed to be a kayak, uh, like a paradise from all over the world. They go there because it's, it's like nonstop, uh, you know, like big, big, big river, like with extreme and rapids for like kilometers and kilometers. We were lucky because uh, there was no current that year. There was no water, so everybody was safe. But 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 and and then we shot the end uh, in another region, it's completely different. So th that was like, uh, but it, that, that was planned for a long time. So, um, but it's just as uh, I'm, I'm, I'm being very careful with uh, first the casting. It's fifty percent of my job is done. I always say that, and it's true. If I if I have a good casting, then I that it's fifty percent of my job is done. Then the rest is just finding the, the proper location and to. Uh, and to uh, and to also gather a, a very nice crew of people. I mean, for many people, I think that that experience of shooting was like what I, I, I heard that. I don't think I'm, I'm bragging about that, but I think that it was for many of us. It was a, a, one of the you know, like the most beautiful shooting experience. Also, because we were kind of uh, completely like isolated, it could have been a complete nightmare. We could have, you know, like uh, like the cabin fever could have turned turned everybody into like, uh, but but it was such a beautiful uh, atmosphere and uh, uh, also because I surrounded myself with extremely talented and nice people, and uh, also I was very stressed on my last film and I wanted to be also like a, 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 a more cool film uh, director as well, like not so stressed and not so. So I really did an effort on, on myself, but it's none of it's, it's true. It's really, I really told myself before I shot the film, like, Philip, you need to not express your stress too much out. And you need to, so the, the way I found to cope with my insecurities, because of course, we have this tendency to think that the director cannot show that he's uh, having doubts and he's having, uh, and, 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 and you're afraid that, you know, the crew will not follow you if you show doubts. And um, and on this movie, I was like, I des I decided to accept that 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 sometimes I didn't know where to place a camera, and then I, we were asking the like, okay, well, and, and then I told my first assistant, and then I said, uh, okay, let's just give us uh, give us uh, fifteen minutes so we, we have time, me and Baltazar, the cinematographer, to 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 think about where we're gonna put the camera. And sometimes I was also telling my actors like, oh, today you know I feel very. Uh, I don't, I'm not very happy. I, I, I don't know why. Uh, I, I, and 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 to expressing those emotions was like uh, my salvation because, uh, and um, it was just, yeah, it was just so good for me to accept that uh, as 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 a as, as a sort of uh, conductor. Sometimes you, you 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 can have you you can have doubts, and and I think we're, I think we're, I think it's very good that we are in a time where. Hopefully, where where this kind of uh, super kind of uh, sh faking confidence and faking like you know I know where I'm doing I know what I'm doing I have, it, it it's it was very very uh, helpful for me to just uh, accept that sometimes I I was also feel, feel I had, sometimes I had my doubts but um, but uh, and and we had the greatest parties ever because no I mean it's true it's it, it's a sense of how 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 it was such a nice experience. 
because when we, we had a Halloween party, it was fantastic. It was like people, were, there was so much love and so much uh, on that set. So, um, yeah, I think I, uh, I really liked the shooting of that time. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can see the, the chemistry between everyone. Um, and I'd also love to hear from you, Noah and Paul, about your your experiences of the shooting on location and if um, there were anything that magical occurrences or specific difficulties or challenges. Um, my mother died just before the shooting, a week before we started shooting. And uh, the improv where I talk about my mother and uh, my si I don't have a sister, but uh, it, it, you know the the thing that it was uh, of course inspired by her by her death. But because at that time, Philippe told us, just talk about something that happened to you, like uh, intimate. Uh, you know those late nights when you're around the fire and people have been drinking, and suddenly there's a warm feeling that that in uh, incitate incit incit that uh, push people to uh, say intimate things and uh, confine in one another, you say that? Mm -hmm. And uh, so I spontaneously talked about my mother and then uh, added that, that, uh, that imaginary sister. Uh, yeah, that's it. It was, a, a, and of course, the fact that we were secluded and the, the, it became a family, of course, it's a cliche, but it was, it was true. And uh, th that, that gave us a lot of confidence to be able to explore things together. Well, kind of like Paul said, just the, the fact that we were all, all together for that much time. Um, you know, we had, when, where we were staying, we had this, like, we were all having dinner in the same spot every night for like a month and a half um, in the last month and a half of yeah, shooting. And that's like something special when you have dinner with the crew and the people for like 45 nights in a row, you know? It's, it's like, it, it gives, it, there's something special that happens um, and you build very strong connections. And I, yeah, I, I, I don't know if for sure. It's Especially like, when the food was that bad. Yeah, the food was disgusting. The um, food was horrible. <laughs> at that so one it was place. the talk. The, the, yeah. the, uh, it was yeah. the talk of the, what, what, you know, yeah. what is edible? Ed, uh, edible? Edible. 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 Yeah. What is edible tonight? Well, I tried this. No, but that, but also, and you know, also like. It was terrible. <laughs> yeah, and, and just also the fact, I don't know, something about being in those beautiful, in that like backwoods of Quebec, we're doing a passion project and like yeah. everybody being so invested. I don't know. It was it was a very and beautiful. Experience. When we yeah, had uh, days off, we couldn't go back to Montreal. It was it was too far. So people and COVID right? and COVID. Yeah. and so we were all like going for walks in the woods together, like a couple of people. Like so we're spending time in nature. It it really contributed to the fact that uh, it made that kind of. Beautiful art. And I was the only one not complaining so much about the food because I, 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 when I shoot a film, I don't really sleep that much. And I have this knot in my stomach, like this constant ad adrenaline. So it, so it was like, OK, they, they, I, know that the, I know that you've been you know, working on a uh, soup of rocks. And uh, you, you did uh, almost eat hurt during the shooting. But uh, because we were very badly treated by the people where we were, that was taking us uh, in hostage at that only place where we could have a, a team, a crew, when we were shooting, and um, but it, but uh, but I but I but I uh, yes now I would be complaining. Yeah, but, we sound uh, like we're complaining, but really, you know, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah whatever. <we're> complaining. <laughs> But it's but but I, I I miss shooting because you lose weight in my in my stuff. <laughs> you don't I don't eat I don't I, I don't care about eating anymore. I'm just you know going to bed and thinking about the scene in the next and 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 then you sleep three hours and then you're it's uh it's 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 wonderful. It's uh it, it, it's terrible it's but rush. it's also wonderful. But but this in that case it was very nice. But uh, yeah. And every day these guys I mean they were kind of. Um, it, it, there was not a single day where I was not happy about you know what we were shooting and about the acting. And uh, so I like it so much that I put everything in what you saw. You know that's why the film is a bit generous, like I said at the beginning. 
which is a, a, femini a, a feminism. But but <laughs> but no, no, it's not true. I cut a lot of scenes, but uh, but uh, it's uh, they're 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 really amazing. I think in the film, the, the actors and Aurelia and Arina and, and everyone. 